for another video. So I'm trying another area in my in the same room. So the couch is just like over there. And the reason I'm doing this is because though the couch is a nice backdrop and you can see the cat there every once in a while, the windows are like right on that wall over there. So it was like side lighting and then the little light above me in the room, well, a little light in the room. It's not very good. So I'm going to try this to see if I can get the natural lighting to be a little bit better. And I know like the ultimate like place for lighting would be to be facing into the room to have the camera, like the back of the camera facing the wall with the windows. But the way I have some, like a bunch of the stuff in this room, that will not be pretty. Not be a pretty backdrop. Where here you have like Eevee over there and the Chromecast TV thing and then this circle thing that holds firewood. I think it's not bad. So anyway, let's dive into stuff that I got. Some of it in the mail, some of it from a Korean home goods store that had so many awesome things. So many. And let's start with the stuff that I got in the mail that I purchased from eBay. So this one, so I cut off the um, shipping label on this, but someone used her birch box to send me and I got two of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks because I really want to try them but they're expensive and I don't know I don't know I don't know how I feel about them so I went on eBay and I actually managed to find two of like the little sizes for one of them I paid six something the other pay I paid seven something and they're normally like the full size are twenty four dollars so I think I did okay. So this one is Venzia. Yellows. I don't even know. But I love this birch box. Like it's so pretty. That's why I was like so delicate. Like you can still see the tape. I tried peeling it off on this side. This side. But it started to rip the box because the box is paper. So I just kind of cut around it delicately. Like it's got, I don't even know. But it's so pretty. So we're going to open it. Oh. First, I'm also going to tell you about the other one I got. So this, which is so not as exciting, came from eBay also. Um, yeah, this one just came like this. No big deal. I did some pre-opening, but, um, so let's see. I'm going to open the birch box one. I don't, let's know. Let's start with the, let's start with this one because it's less exciting, so we'll see what... Like I said, I pre-opened. Ooh, so on top is a thank you card. Oh, and there's my invoice, take that out. With this cute little polka dot thank you card from Zoomerang. And it says, thank you for your purchase from Amber. So that's fun. So then... What else is in here? Oh, just the, my purchase. Alright, so it's in. Bubble mailer. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Although, funny thing, this listing did not list the color name. It just showed the picture, so I went by the picture. Which this is pretty. And on the end it says... Venezia. Did I buy two of the same? That's something I would do. Made in Italy. But oh my gosh, this is so cute! Look at this thing! Oh my goodness. So it's nice and gloopies. Ooh. Ooh, and the applicator is kind of woobly. So as you can see, I can kind of push on it. Hopefully you can see that. Let's try it here. So I can kind of push on it and it flexes. I just made a random dot to go with my random line. That's kind of handy. Ooh, the color's nice. So pretty. So here's the color. I'm gonna let that start to dry because that's the whole thing with liquid lipsticks is that they got to dry. So then while we do that, we're gonna open up 
The birch box that also says Venusia on it, although spelled with an E. V E N E, where the other one's V E N I. And see what we got. Except that's not. Ooh! Okay, so I'm gonna have to get something because. Guys, it's taped in there. Just. It ain't going nowhere. So maybe I can just kind of wiggle that out. But also in here. Oh. No, I didn't. I thought I got lipstick on my pants. Is a commodity gold perfume sample. Well, that's sweet. Oh my goodness, look. From Commodity, it's the gold one. Um, does it tell me what it's supposed to smell like? It tells me the ingredients, it's a sample. Mm, it doesn't tell me what makes the gold one any different than mimosa, rain, tea, or paper. Ooh, is this the one that has like the paper that Bunny really liked? Ooh. That's fancy. Oh, I guess you could have gotten one of... No, because it says gold on the front. Okay, I don't know. But that was really nice of her to include that. I wonder if this is where she got this. Like, in her birch box. Can I slowly, gently peel this up? Ooh. Oh, I took off a little bit of the paper. Not too bad. I don't know what to do this. Here, put it on that. And then, oh my, there's more tape on here. Okay, so I'm back. And so this is the new one. This is the one before. And guess what? They're the same color. So yes, I bought the same color. It's a good thing I like it. It is. So what I was interested in, because with my NYX lipstick, I will sometimes just kind of dab some on with my NYX matte liquid lipstick and then spread it around as a little more sheer light colored version. So I wanted to see how this would look sort of like that. So the top one is full strength and then in this middle area is where I have it like really sheared out like it is very thick. And then the bottom dot where I showed you the flexibility I kind of dabbed it before it was fully dry. It was mostly dry before I did that. And yeah. So far it seems pretty good. So, and like I said, it's a good thing I like the color. I don't know how it's going to look on me. Ooh, do we want to put it on? Do we? Do we? I think we do. I even happen to have a mirror right here. Oh, it's a dirty mirror. Hmm. And I have on a little bit of my, um, NYX Yes, NYX, their butter, not their butter gloss, but like the, the chapstick version. <laughs> so that's what colors on my lips, so let's see how I feel. Ooh, vanilla-y. Ooh, mmm, I didn't notice that before. <laughs> it wiggles. Oh, too much. Oh, I'm good at this. looks nice on me. What do you think? And then I think I should close this bad boy up before I... It's interesting because it is like the flexi doe foot applicator, but one side, it's not like round. It's sort of like oval. Okay, so we're going to move on to some bonus stuff that I got from the Korean home goods store that I'm so excited about. So the first thing, I only have the external packaging for, and you can sort of see it, that it's a little snail for your toothbrush. And it's so cute. So you know how everyone talks about you should cover your toothbrush because particles in the air in your bathroom and it's just not good, blah, blah, blah. Life is hard. Oops, 
Ooh, it's drying really fast. I'm not, I'm used to my next one that takes like 20 minutes to dry. This is drying a lot faster. Anyway, so it's manufactured by Zive Story. X-I-V-E-S-T-O-R-Y. And it's one of those that you put on the mirror and you push it in and it holds it and you can pull it and it releases. So I just think it's really cool because my mom went to, I want to say Lottie's or Super H, one of those two, and they had some suction cup toothbrush holders, but they didn't like, you couldn't just like push it in and it holds and then you release and you pull it out and it releases. It was pretty much a like you put it in there and then you had to flip it down with your other hand and I don't know how secure they were like if you could just pull it out and it would just come out or if you had to flip it up every time but she didn't give me those because I saw some on um, YouTube that they're like couple version and you just did that sort of thing and I was like I want that so I have that only it's a snail that's so weird. So I'm like, I have a snail toothbrush holder. Snail brush. And then speaking of brushes, I have this crazy thing. So it is a flower bottle brush. And you can see that there. And if you're wondering why do I need a bottle brush that's like a mile long, it's because I have a bottle that's like a mile tall. Like, you can kind of see from like here down, or at least I can from here down where I couldn't reach it with normal brushes very easily is kind of gross because at first I just put like water and stuff like that but then I started putting like Daterade and smoothies and that's started getting kind of gross well look at this look see because a lot of the time with brushes I'd have the problem with like by the time I'm here I'm like I'm trying to wash it this is mm, this is not working but this I can have a hold of and see Okay, so not quite that much of a hole, but like here, I'll be able to swish, swish, swish inside, and it'll be great, and it'll be glorious. <coughs> Meow. Okay. It's been sitting here. Now, I want to know what this gold smells like. Can I get it out without spraying myself in the face? That is a good question. Ooh, husky. Ooh, scared. Why am I scared? Oops, some. Okay, this is not very good for the spraying, but I got some to leak out. Hi, Mr. Jag, you helping? Ooh, it's very vanilla. -y. I feel like the theme of every video lately has been vanilla. Mmm. Mmm, this is very nice. Hi, you. I think that's it. Hi, other than cat. Always cat. What do I do with the mirror? I want to check on this again. So, let you see. I like it. Okay, so I've noticed with liquid lipsticks, I think my lips are oilier than most. So my problem is that sometimes they don't always completely set. Careful! So we're going to try and do the back of the hand kiss test and see what happens. Like my um, next one that one of my friends was like, oh, it doesn't move to anything. It's so magical, like glorious things. For me, it's it doesn't pass the kiss test because it doesn't fully set all the way. And I know it's not been very long, but we'll do kiss test, see what happens. Oh, there's a teeny, teeny tiny bit. Can you see that? But it's definitely not much that's good awesome so I feel silly because I bought two of the same color but that is okay I like the color so and I still spent I don't even know how much is in the full size but anyway I didn't spend $24 just super cute they can just go in my purse it'll be awesome and I also wanted to know, is it weird 
that I don't tell people like, oh, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and my Facebook page. Because I'd like people to do all those things, but I figure you've been around YouTube long enough. You know what to do. You know that there are links down below and you can go look at them. Like, why should I have to tell you that? You're grown up people. You can handle your life. Well, you might not be grown up people, but you're people who know how to use the internet and have been on YouTube. You can make up your decisions. But anyway, you know, I want to do it now. Now that I've said I don't care, I'm like, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I think that's it. And my blog. Do I even have a link to my blog? I don't think so. Follow it anyway! Just be psychic and know where it is. Now I'm rambling, so I'll see everyone later. Bye!